Be honest with me for a second. How many of you guys get killed by someone, sometimes legit, sometimes not, but you still blame something else for your death? <laughs> Don't lie, man. I do that shit all the time. And it's funny because I got thrown into this match in progress, and there's going to be one guy in here. I kill him a number of times. I get the better of him. But he comes up with every excuse you can imagine. And you know what it is? Since you can obviously hear people in the mic, you can hear him bitching. I was hearing this motherfucker every time. He was like, oh, I'm camping. Oh, now he's spraying and praying. Oh, the game lag. Whatever it was, he bitched. But you know what? He stood at the game to the end. He didn't trash talk. He accepted his loss like a man. So he had my respect for that shit. But it was just funny listening to that motherfucker. Now, I can't hate on him because I do that shit all the time, too. <laughs> Fuck that, man. I have like 10,000 deaths in this game, and I'll say 9,000 are bullshit. And all those 9,000, I sat there, I was like, oh, man, this fucking guy pisses me off. He did this, he did that. I ain't gonna lie, man. I hate on people when they kill me, so when people hate on me, I can't really say anything back in return. <laughs> I'll always say this, man. None of the deaths are my fault. It's all the game beating me. That's it. That's the way I'm gonna talk about it. Anyways, in this game, I'm using the MK46, which is actually a decent LMG for me, but my god, is it a fucking pea shoot in this game? But I mean, you know what? What LMG isn't? This is like the neglected gun class, and it has always been like that since Call of Duty 4. I mean, think about it. What advantage does an LMG have over other guns? It's like, why would you use this over an assault rifle or an SMG? The only advantage it has is that it has a shitload of bullets compared to some of the other ones. But then again, some of the LMGs in Black Ops, they didn't have shit. So you know what? To counter all those bullets, what do they do? They lower the bullet damage to combat spray and pray. So it's like, man, come on. Even the one advantage it has is fucking terrible. I mean, look at it like this. Each gun has a certain specialty, and they're always going to have a specialty when it comes to any shooter game. Not just Call of Duty, not just Battlefield and shit like that. You got your SMGs and your shotguns. Those are your close range guns. Basically, if you want to be a mobile, agile player, use an SMG or use a shotgun. Because chances are you're going to get up close and you're going to shoot the shit out of people. If you want the distance shots, obviously a sniper rifle. And no, we're not going to get into the whole trick shotting and quick scoping and all that other bullshit. Listen, the strength of a sniper rifle is to shoot from a distance. Not run around, not clear out a room with a fucking 50 cal. It's to stay away from the action and shoot people from a distance. You know, you try and do some of the shit you do in Call of Duty and other games like Resistance or Battlefield, you get fucked up. <laughs> Yeah, try that shit. Try quick scoping. Try no scoping. You will not be able to do that in other games. So that's why strength of the sniper rifle is always going to be a distant shot. Then we have the best all-around gun in the game, the assault rifles, which are also the most versatile. You know, they're fully auto guns, they're single shot, burst guns, you name it. Some are great for distant shots, some are great for up close and shit like that, but I'll tell you right now, everybody wants to use the assault rifle because it's basically the all-around gun. You can combat an SMG, you can combat, and this is where the guy says that I spray and pray. <laughs> I don't give a shit, fuck it. I spray and pray the shit out that bitch. But you know, you can combat a sniper rifle with a good gun. You can combat an SMG with a good gun. With an LMG, what can you do? What the fuck is it good at? It's slow as shit. I mean, the damn thing weighs more than your mother-in-law. My fucking farts after a night of spicy burritos do more damage than that shit. And when you shoot, it bounces around more than a 40-year-old stripper at a titty bar. <laughs> Ever seen one of those? Oh man, they have more jiggle than a bowl full of jello. But fuck it, man. Everybody likes the milk and shit. Now watch right here. Remember the guy that I was saying who was bitching? Right here. Watch me outplay him right here. I finally tag his ass, right? And he goes around. He sits in the corner. I don't know if he was going to teabag me if he knew where I was. But I pop out real quick and I pop him in his head. Oh man, he was bitching. <laughs> he was like, what the fuck? You know, as soon as I saw that guy, I was like, man, I don't know what he's going to do to my body. And I was like, fuck it. Let me get out this drone real quick and I'm going to shoot his ass and he's going to be real pissed at this motherfucker. But anyway, like I've been saying, the LMG has been a neglected class ever since Call of Duty 4. I mean, you look back, there have only been just a couple of good LMGs in the whole Call of Duty series. The RPD has obviously been one of the best ones. Back in Call of Duty 4, it was great. And Call of Duty 4 had that fucking the M60 when it had that big-ass stick of a goddamn iron sight. Oh, my God, that shit was terrible right here. I'm going to get shot in my ass. I didn't see this motherfucker get around me when I was calling in my cell phone, so I get shot in my butt right there. But man, that fucking, that M60 and that iron sight stick, oh my god, that shit was terrible. The M saw just wasted bullets like all crap. World at War doesn't really count as a video game, but if it did, they didn't have one fucking gun in that game. <laughs> I mean, remember that shit? They had like that fucking shark fin gun with the magazine on the side of that shit. They had that Starship Enterprise motherfucker look like a fat German sat on top of it. Oh my god. Then they had one. I didn't unlock it because I didn't play the game long enough. But it looked like a gigantic dildo. I was like, oh, get the fuck out of here, man. All the guns were fucking terrible. Modern Warfare 2 had two good ones. You had the RPD, of course. Then you had the H-Bar. H-Bar was like a chubby assault rifle cousin. <laughs> That shit was great. The MG4, the M240, they were fucking terrible. They squirted away more ammo than a fucking porn star, man. The L86 was also in that motherfucker. It was crap back then, too. It wasn't like it was in this game. Then we get to, to Crap Ops, speaking of crap. That one had some real head scratches, that motherfucker. Three of them had less bullets than the G11 assault rifle. Two of them had less than the Galil. So it's like, wait a second. You're going to slow me down like a motherfucker, and then you're going to give me less bullets? What the fuck? Why would anyone take those guns? And then to top it off, the M60 
which was the only like decent LMG, the only one with 100 bullets, grows a new iron sight from like the prototype from us. It's like, what the fuck? Where did you come up with that shit? It's like, how about you have a leprechaun pop out that motherfucker and ride a unicorn? <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Now you come to Modern Warfare 3 and they have probably the worst LMG of all time, the MG36. My God, that thing is a piece of shit. PKP, that's like that same 40 year old stripper that I was mentioning. Remember the jiggle? <laughs> you shoot that shit and it bounces all over the goddamn place. I can't stand that motherfucker. Now, I don't know if I'm imagining some shit, but it feels like the M60, you actually bring up the sights a lot slower in this game. I don't know what it is. MK46 fires out a shitload of bullets, but I'm like, you know what, fuck it. It's decent compared to some of the other ones. And of course, the L86, which by default is the best LMG in this game. That's why I tend to use that one more often. It's right here. This game's coming to an end. You know what? I did some ass kicking in this. Not bad for getting thrown into a room in progress. I think I finished 21 and 4 up in this motherfucker. But the worst part about the LMGs, they're never going to get better. There's nothing to improve. You really can't do anything to these guns. They're not going to ever change the LMGs, so it's pretty much going to be the neglected class forever. So anyway, that's my commentary on the LMGs. Final score, like I said, 21 and 4. So as always, rate, comment, subscribe, and all that good shit. And I'll see you guys in the next video.